The purpose of this show, the of this show is to guide you to realign, to realign with habits that get you to live the life, live the life you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse Ewing. This is the habit-based lifestyle Where you can access your full potential right now Finally break free from destructive habits That dream life, if you want it, you can have it This is where you transform your health Mind, business, and relationships Or do nothing and keep your life the way it is But if you're ready for change, you're in the right place This is where you're gonna learn how to live a habit-based lifestyle You, you, you are tuning in to the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast With, with, with your host, Jesse Yule This is this is the habit-based lifestyle let's go welcome back to the habit-based lifestyle podcast i am your host jesse yule and today we're going to be talking about focusing on the pain and problem or focusing on the solution now as we get into today's episode i want to talk about an experience i've had where five six weeks ago uh, i had injured my back simply from standing up uh, after sitting down for a few hours. Now, this is the first time that this has ever really happened. Uh, I could think about a few times where, you know, maybe I've injured my back, you know, lifting or maybe being sore or maybe doing kind of a a challenge or, or something like that. But having kind of a specific reason uh, why, you know, I've been injured, not from just sitting. Now, I also know that on the other side of that sitting wasn't necessarily the thing that injured my back. This, there was something that probably had been going on for months or getting neglected for months. But the thing that I've experienced is a lot of frustration, uh, constant pain, uh, just in this last five, six weeks, you know, from not being able to move, um, uh, to just not being able to do some basic things like running and playing with my kids, you know, being able to work out um, and things I've just not been able to do. And some of the things that, that I've kind of seen myself is, is just, you know, really understanding like, Hey, how did this happen? You know, and, and doing it on a deeper level, but kind of doing it in a way that it's like, Hey, what is this physical pain really showing me? You know, and, and I think the biggest thing that that pain is showing me is how pain can keep us stuck in our lives, especially when we focus on pain uh, and we focus on problems. So, you know, you you realize that you become or I've become kind of a victim of my own pain or own problem. And, you know, I really believe that pain is something we focus on or the problem is something we focus on instead of the solution. And I I think pain is one of those things that it's like the, nothing else matters in that moment other than the pain or problem that we're dealing with or going through. And so as, you know, I, I've kind of watched myself, I've thought about, man, you know, what about like, you know, even fitness? Like, what are some things I'm learning about even fitness? It's like, you know, in in fitness, when you have pain or in, you know, when you have this problem with your back, I think the natural tendency is like you focus on what you can't do instead of what you can do. And so therefore that keeps us stuck in that pain, in that problem um, to where I almost see like I walk in the gym and it's like, man, I see these chains wrapped around me to the point where it's like, okay, I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. And so I've really noticed that I've been more focused on what I can't do instead of what I can't, what I can do. And, you know, I kind of had this realization like three or four days ago, as I was sitting, I'm like, man, I'm just focused on what I can't do. But what are the things that I actually can do? Tell, talk, tell me about those things, because that's what I really care about right now. Don't tell me about what I'm limited on and what I can't do. And I, I really believe that this is something that can keep us stuck, whether it be in our marriage, like think about how often in, in marriage that one of the things that we can do is we can focus on the bad qualities of our spouse, or I don't even want to say the bad qualities. I'm just saying the things that we maybe disagree with or don't like as much. 
Um, and we have a natural tendency when we have a, uh, when we come from this place of having this natural tendency to focus on those things, you know, our marriage seems like, man, everything's going wrong. Um, you know, maybe, you know, you're not communicating, maybe you're not going on date night, maybe you're not even having sex, but if those were the only things that I focused on, then that would be my measurement of like, Hey, this is how my marriage is really going. When we tend to focus on the problem or the pain that it's causing, you know, we, we tend to kind of experience this place of where we're not, or we're not where we want to be. And I, I think this is a way that a lot of people kind of approach their business, their life, their lifestyle is when they're in pain or when they're not you know, accomplishing what they say they want or when they have problems, they tend to focus on, you know, those things, what they can do versus what they can do. They become a victim, you know, and, and in the process of being a victim, you cannot create something in that place. Now, some other things that this kind of like, you know, I, I think about, man, and hurting, like knowing that, hey, this is really changing my physical life, how I approach my workout, how I approach, you know, things in my day to day life, especially if you think about man, the first thing you do every single day is like, I get ready to work out. And I'm like, here I am, like, trying to figure out what I can do. Or I mean, for a while, I was like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this versus what I could do. And so uh, many of the things that I've experienced is going through this process of of feeling like I can't do anything and I'm supposed to just sit here and wait for it to get better. Feeling like, you know, this pain is just going to go away. And so there's times where I've waited. Um, but like, I think the bigger thing is, is, you know, we can easily get stuck in our own victim mode. We can get stuck in our own story of the story of all the things that I can't do. And I've literally watched myself wake up in the mornings and be like, man, I can barely get out of bed. I can't, I can't do these things in the gym. And, you know, pain only really looks for problems. Uh, if you think about this, you know, when I'm in pain, I only look for problems when I'm in power or when I feel empowered, I'm looking for solutions. Um, and so those are both powerful lessons you know, that I can walk away with and say, well, listen, if, if you feel pain, you know, you're really only focused on problems. Now something may hurt. Uh, and that's an indicator where it's like, Hey, I've just been focused on the problem. You know, how do I turn this into power, um, to where I can look at the lesson and I can create a new story or a new reality from this. But both of these are going to be big teachers, like being a victim or being a creator will both teach us as long as we're willing to learn. Um, and, and I think the bigger thing is, is like, it's going to teach us what we need to learn. And, and so, you know, I, I think about being a creator is, is someone who's finding a solution and focus on that. Being a victim is someone who's focused on finding a problem. Um, and, and I think so many times we can get stuck in problems through f physical health, mental health, relational health, business, you know, whatever it is. And it seems like we can't find a way out. Um, but part of the reason is, is we're not creating anything new. And I think that's one of the fastest ways that we can begin to get ourselves out of this mode and get ourselves into this creative mode, even if you know, you feel stuck, but you're really not even if you are stuck, because you might feel the pain, but pain will cloud your vision. Um, if you know, our desire is lost, then our energy becomes consumed by the pain. And so all of our energy is going to the pain, to the problem, our mindset even can get fixed at times. And in doing that, that keeps us where we feel stuck, we feel like we're not moving forward. Uh, we're sharing, you know, hey, here's what's wrong versus here's the things that are right. And I also think about like, you know, sometimes we we tell people we feel pain and for 
I don't think people do this intentionally, but I think in the same time, it's like we get used to people asking like, Hey, how's your back? It's like, Oh, it's fine. But in doing that, that also keeps us stuck in that place because, you know, at times you may want others to feel your pain. You may want others to feel how bad you do versus saying like, you know what? It's feeling much better. Thanks for asking. Or just like, Hey, you know, are you sure you're in pain? And, you know, I think the biggest thing is, is like the solution is always to create a different reality, create a different story to create or empower you to move to a new place rather than feeling or being stuck in where you're at. And, you know, no matter the program, every injury, every hurt created by my own pain, just being able to switch over into creating a new reality is one of the most powerful and empowering places that we can be is that, you know, when you can see that your own frustrations can become your own freedom, this is a powerful place for you to be. When you see that you are being a victim and you can empower yourself by going and being a creator, because at the end of the day, we're all called to create. I believe this is the purpose of life is to create. And so that's really when your frustrations can become, you know, this new freedom, this new found, you know, place that you're in, because, you know, even all the training I've had for 20, 30 years, a lifetime, it almost goes out the window the minute you're focused on the pain or the minute you're focused on the problem. And that, you know, is, is very powerful in itself is like, think about maybe you've had training in your business. You know, you've had, you've been trained in all of these ways that the minute you get hurt, the minute you get injured, all of that gets thrown out the window and you completely forget about how to manage that. And you forget about how to find the solution to that because you're so focused on the pain. And so uh, maybe the greatest lesson you know, that, that I have taken away from this whole experience and that I'm going through is, is just empowering myself to go from being a victim to a creator, knowing that the only solution I have is to create something different, to create a new reality, to create a new story that gets me the results that I ultimately want. Um, and to turn my frustrations into freedom by me making a simple choice to empower myself and move forward. And I want to share that with you guys today. If you're looking to connect with a group of like-minded people, join myself and so many others in the Habit-Based Lifestyle Secrets group on Facebook, uh, where we'll be dropping daily habits. You'll also uh, be able to get inside of that group and get an inside scoop into the Habit-Based Lifestyle program, uh, the things that we were doing, the value we're bringing, uh, we'd love to have you. And all you got to do is just click in the show notes and you'll get free access. So thank you and have a great day. The purpose of this show, the purpose of this show. is to guide, you to, realign guide you to realign with habits that get you to live the life, live the life. you've always dreamed of. Right. This, this is the Habit-Based Lifestyle Podcast with Jesse.